Hello Internet, here's a quick tip. Uh, these are a few of the ways you might do string interpolation in, in C Sharp. And neither of them are, are great. They're both kind of uh, clunky, especially as they get bigger and bigger. And so in, recently in one of the newer versions of C Sharp, I think C Sharp 7, uh, there was a third way that was added. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at, it's just going to print hello and then the name to, to the screen. The third option is instead of doing what we've done in the past, which is either concatenate or inject something else, in front of this string that we're going to add, we can add a dollar sign. And this means it's going to be an interpolated string uh, that's very similar to what's happening here. But instead of giving it values of the parameters that we're doing, we can actually inject the actual variables. Uh, so we can do hello name here. And we don't need to do much else other than that. And you can see it's actually going to pull the name as a string from up here. And so this should do the same thing. And now we should see hello world three times. I should probably save that. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there we go. Three hello worlds instead of uh, instead of two. And so that that's that's pretty much how you would inject something like this. The cool thing with this is just like all the other ones, you can actually execute functions in here. Uh, so if I want to do two upper and just uppercase my string, we can do that as well. And now it's all uppercase. Uh, and so that that's sort of a, a really quick way to do string interpolation. It's a little bit nicer to read than either of these other two options. Uh, this other this first one has some uh, can have some weird weird effects on your code and just gets really clunky. This other one is just hard to remember. <clears throat> it can be useful for formatting, but, but the third one is personally my favorite. So anyway, hopefully you can use this in your project and it's it's a handy little tool you can have. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. So until next time, see you internet.